worship Yahweh. Santo eres Yahweh, Praise Yahweh. I have a verse in mind, but I, I don't remember where to find it. But the verse says, Pero verso dice, and you shall know the truth, y sabrás la verdad, and the truth will set you free. Y la verdad los hará libre. I have a question Tengo una pregunta. for all of us to think about. Para todos que pensemos. What is the truth? ¿Qué es la verdad? What is the truth? ¿Qué es la verdad? If you ask any believer, si tú le a creyente, they will quote Yeshua. Ellos van a usar las palabras de Yeshua. Where he says, Father, sanctify them with your truth. Cuando dice, Padre, santificalos con tu verdad. Your word is true. Tu palabra es verdad. So, many believers believe that the word is truth. Muchos creyentes creen que la palabra es verdad. But the question is, la pregunta es, how do you know that something is true? ¿Cómo sabes que algo es verdad? It doesn't matter what language you look in. No importa en cuál lenguaje tú estés mirando. Truth has a significance. La verdad tiene un significado. Of something that's secure. De que algo que está seguro. Something that can stand on its own. Algo que puede estar en sí mismo. It's something that cannot be changed. Algo que no puede ser cambiado. But how do you know that something is true? Pero ¿cómo sabes que algo es verdad? There's only one way you can know that something is Pero true. Manera de saber que algo es de verdad. And that's to test it. Y eso es de probarlo. How do I know that the chair that I'm sitting in ¿Cómo sé que la silla que estoy sentada en is a real chair? Es una silla de verdad. How do I know that it's going to hold me up? ¿Cómo sé que me va a aguantar? Somebody had to sit in it first. Alguien se tenía que sentar en ella primero. They had to test it. Tenían que probarla. And this is something that we as believers have to get into the habit of doing. Because sometimes we will believe everything that we are told. A veces todo lo que nos dicen. Mm -hmm. Without checking. Sin checar. Without evidence. Sin la evidencia. And so there it goes. It's true. Entonces ahí va, es la verdad. Somebody quotes a verse and oh yeah it's true because it came from the Bible. Alguien dice algo de la Biblia entonces es verdad porque lo dijo de la Biblia. I don't doubt the Bible at all. No dudo la Biblia. I just doubt I just doubt people's interpretation of the Bible. Solo dudo la interpretación de la gente de la Biblia. And we're seeing nowadays that you can inject anything into the Bible. Podemos ver ahora que tú puedes meter lo que tú quieras en la Biblia. You can say that the sun is green decir que el sol es verde. and find a verse that will, that will tell you the same. Y un verso que te diga eso. There are a lot of theories that are going around. Hay muchas teologías. Teorías. Teorías. Mm -hmm. Teorías. That are starting to come up nowadays. Que están empezando a surgir ahora. New teachings and doctrines. Nuevas doctrinas y nuevas enseñanzas. And you, they all use the Bible as their, uh, as their base. Todos usan la Biblia como su base. So how do you know? So cómo sabes? How do you know that it's true? Cómo sabes que es verdad? You have to test it. Tienes que probarlo. The thing about the Bible is. La cosa con la Biblia es. The Bible is not new. La Biblia no es nueva. The Bible is not new. La Biblia no es nueva. The Bible is thousands of years old. La Biblia es mil y mil años. So when someone comes with a new doctrine, so cuando alguien viene con una nueva doctrina, that new doctrine has to have some type of influence. Esa nueva doctrina tiene que tener un tipo de influencia. Either it's influenced by the world, es influ uh, influencia por el mundo, or it's influenced through, um, by God through his word. O es influencia por Dios por su palabra. So, you will know the truth. Entonces, sabrás la verdad. 
and the truth will set you free. Y la verdad los hará libre. How do we know that everything that we have been taught is true? ¿Cómo sabemos que todo lo que nos han enseñado es verdad? Judaism has been around for 4,000 years. El judaísmo ha estado por 4,000 años. Christianity has been around for 2,000 years. El cristianismo ha estado por 2,000 años. Islam has been around for about 1,000 years now. Y Islam ha estado por hace 1,000 años ya. But the question is, what is the truth? Pero la pregunta es, ¿qué es la verdad? What is founded on the word? ¿Qué está fun, uh, fundido? Fundado. Fundado en la palabra. Today we're going to go into something very, not new, but different. Hoy vamos a ir en algo que no es nuevo, pero diferente. And I'm going to try to ease us into this. Voy a tratar de ir um, suave, en meterlo suave en esto. Because if I give it to you too much, you're going to choke on it. Porque si te doy mucho de esto, te vas a hacer un shock. <laughs> it's going to give you a big shock. <laughs> okay. Um, and what we really want to investigate through this study. Y lo que de verdad queremos investigar en este estudio. And the reason why we have our faith. Y la razón por que tenemos nuestra Is because we want to be like the, we want to be like Yeshua. Porque queremos ser como Yeshua. We want to be like the apostles. Queremos ser como los apostles. We want to imitate them. Queremos imitarlos. Because we know that they have the truth. Porque sabemos que ellos saben la verdad, la tienen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the history of the faith. Lo que vamos a hacer es regresar a la historia de la fe. I want you to go with me. Quiero que vayan conmigo. To the book of Acts. En el libro de Hechos. The book of Acts, and we're going to go to Acts chapter 1. Hechos capítulo 1. Acts chapter 1. Hechos capítulo 1. There are so many things in the word. Hay muchas cosas en la palabra. That to us have been hidden. Que para nosotros han sido escondidas. And the reason why they have been hidden y la razón porque fueron escondidas. is because we have 2,000 years. Porque tenemos 2,000 años. 2,000 years where um, tradition covered the word. 2,000 años so que la tradición tapó la, la palabra. 2,000 years where the common person did not have access to the scriptures. Que la persona común no tenía acceso a la palabra. Mm -hmm. 2,000 years where we had no access to things that could prove mm -hmm. the scripture. Mm -hmm. 2,000 años que no tuvimos acceso a lo que puede dar um, cuenta de la palabra. Okay, so let's look at Acts chapter 1 and verse 15. Uno. Verso 15. Brother Miguel, can I have you go to uh, Te Quiero en Mateo, capítulo 13, verso 55. Matthew, chapter 13, verses, uh, verse 55. Mateo, capítulo 13, verso 55. Okay, oh, espera, okay. So, I'm going to read first Acts chapter 1. ¿Cuál es primero Hechos capítulo 1? And verse 15. Verso 15. Now let's go back to verse 12. Vamos mejor a verso 12. It says, Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet. Entonces volvieron a Jerusalén desde el monte que se llama del Olivar. Which is near Jerusalem. El cual está cerca de Jerusalén. A Sabbath day's journey. Camino de un día de reposo. Question. Pregunta. What is the Sabbath day's journey? ¿Qué es un camino de reposo? I'm going to keep going. Voy a seguir. And when they had entered, y entrar, entrados, they went up into the upper room where they were staying. Subieron al aposento alto donde moraban. Peter. Pedro. James. Y Jacobo. John, Juan, 
and Andrew, Andres, Philip, Felipe, and Thomas, Tomas, Bartholomew, Bartolome, and Matthew, Mateo, James, Jacobo, the son of Alphaeus, hijo de Alfeo, and Simon the Zealot, Simon el Celote, and Judas, the son of James. Y Judas, hermano de Jacobo. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Todos esos perseveraban unánimes en oración y ruego. With the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Con las mujeres y con María, la madre de Jesús, y con sus hermanos. Question. Pregunta. Did you notice? Notaron. Who was all in the upper room? ¿Quién estaban todos? En el aposento alto. It says that the 12 apostles Dice que los 12 discípulos, with the women con las mujeres, Mary the mother of Jesus María, la mamá de Jesús, and with who? ¿Y con quién? Sus hermanos. His brothers. Sus hermanos. Did you know that Jesus had brothers? ¿Sabía que Jesús tenía hermanos? Did you know? ¿Sabía? Not a lot of people know that. Mucha gente no sabe a eso. lot of people are surprised. Mm -hmm. Mucha gente se sorprende. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why is it that we don't know that Jesus had brothers and sisters? ¿Cómo es que no sabe, sabíamos que Jesús tenía hermanos y hermanas? Well, With, all you have to do is just go backward in time. Lo que tienes que hacer es al revés del tiempo. In the first, second, and third century, everybody knew that Jesus had brothers and sisters. But in the fourth century, en el cuarto siglo, began the teaching empezó la enseñanza that, uh, that Mary was a perpetual virgin. De que María era una virgen perpetual. So in the second century, Pero en el segundo siglo, they began to teach that Jesus was born of a virgin. Empezaron a enseñar de que Jesús nació de una virgen. I'm not, I know I'm rocking the boat with that one. Yo sé que estoy meneando una... El, no el it, it's difficult to... Yeah, de decir el yeah it's difficult to accept. I'm sorry, in the late first century. En el... La, la parte más... Uh, la, la, eh, el tardecer del primer siglo. Uh -huh. yeah. Was when they began to teach that Jesus was born of a virgin. Es cuando empezaba a enseñar de que Jesús nació de una virgen. But in the fourth century, Pero en el cuarto siglo, they began to teach that Mary was a perpetual virgin. Empezaron a enseñar de que María era una virgen perpetual. And if, Mar if Mary was a perpetual virgin, y si María era una virgen, Jesus couldn't have brothers and sisters. Jesús no pudo tener hermanos y hermanas. But the Bible tells us very clearly Pero la nos dice that he had brothers and sisters. Que él tenía y Now, uh, Brother Miguel is going to read um, uh, Matthew. You know, even things like promete is a uh, God. Uh -huh, we're not going to go there yet. No, no. Mm -hmm. Just saying, if Maria is not a virgin, mm -hmm. so Matthew is not a brother and sister. Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying two things. First, Matthew, mm -hmm. uh, Mary gave birth to mm -hmm. Matthew, like a virgin, mm -hmm. and remaining to two, maybe she was a <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, in, in, after a, in the beginning, everybody knew that Jesus had brothers and sisters. En el principio todos sabían que Jesús tenía hermanos y hermanas. But then the teaching was that, that Mary was a virgin even after she had Jesus. Pero la enseñanza fue de que María era una virgen hasta que de, hasta donde cuando después de que tuvo Jesús. Mm -hmm. So if he if Mary didn't have any children after she had Jesus then there were no other there are no brothers and sisters. Entonces si María tuvo Mary had one? If she didn't have children. Si no tuvo uh, otros no hijos después de Jesús, entonces mm -hmm. no tuvo Hermanos, if she was a virgin, then she couldn't have to do that. Si era virgen, no puede tener hijos. No, ni podía but, haber tenido a Jesús porque virgen ya no era después de que <laughs> nació Jesús. Digo yo, ¿no? That's it. <laughs> that's, that's. No. 
there wasn't there was, there wasn't that much science there wasn't that much science no había mucha ciencia en ese tiempo and nowadays when you get into science or you get into the science of all of that y ahora cuando se pueden meter en la ciencia de todo eso people would, it just goes too far it just goes over people's heads todo le pasa sobre la gente la la mente de la persona it wasn't until the Protestant uh, Reformation. No fue que después de la reforma, reformación, reforma de los protestantes. That the the Protestants realized. Los protestantes se dieron cuenta. That uh, in Matthew chapter one it says, and Joseph knew his wife. Que en Mateo capítulo uno dice que José, José right? mm -hmm. conoció a su esposa after Jesus was born. Después de que Jesús mm -hmm. nació. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different thing. Esa es otra, otra cosa diferente. Otra historia. Uh -huh, that's another story. Otro, 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 otra cosa. So we're going to read Matthew. Vamos a leer Mateo. Chapter 13. Capítulo 13. And verse 55. En verso 55. Lo voy a leer con usted, hermano. Poco a poco. Okay. ¿Listo? Sí. Okay. ¿No este es el hijo del carpintero? ¿Es no. not the carpenter's son? ¿No se llama su madre María? ¿Es not his mother Mary? ¿Y sus hermanos? ¿And his brothers? Jacob. ¿James? José. ¿Joseph? Simón. ¿Simon? ¿Y Judas? ¿And Judas? Sigue. <coughs> No están todas sus hermanas con nosotros. And his sisters, are they not with us? ¿De dónde? Where then? Pues tiene este todas estas cosas. Did this man get all these things? Hasta ahí, hermano. So, the Bible tells us. La Biblia nos dice. That not only that Jesus had brothers, brothers. No solo que Jesús tenía hermanos. He had at least two sisters. Tenía lo, casi como dos hermanos. And it not only tells us that he had siblings. No solo dice que tenía hermanos. But it tells us that it tells us their names. Nos dice sus nombres. So. Entonces. I want you to keep your hand there. Quiero que mantengas ahí esa página. What were his brother's names? ¿Cuáles eran los nombres de sus hermanos? James. Jacobo. Joseph. Uh, Jose. Uh, Simon, Simon and Judas. Judas. Okay. Let's go back to Acts chapter uh, 1 verse 15. Vamos a Hechos capítulo 1 verso 15. We're going to see something uh, interesting there. Vamos a ver algo interesante ahí. Hechos 1 15. Sí. Lo siento. 13. 1 13. 1 13. 1 13. Okay, so it names all of the apostles. You will be shocked to find out that all of Jesus' brothers and sisters and family were his followers, not only his followers, but they were apostles. Mm -hmm. Why don't we know this? Mm -hmm. no esto? This is the reason why we're, you're going to understand why, why not many people know this. Vas a saber mucha gente no sabe esto. Okay. So, Entonces, verse 13 it says, verso 13 dice, And when they had entered, they went up into the upper room where they were staying. Y entrado, subieron al aposento alto donde moraban. Peter, Pedro, James, Jacobo, John, Juan, and Andrew, Andres, Philip, Felipe, and Thomas, Tomás, Bartholomew, Bartolome, and Matthew, Mateo, James, Jacobo, the son of Alphaeus, hijo de Alfeo. In the original text, in el texto original, the phrase the son of Alphaeus, la frase el hijo de Alfeo, is not there. No está ahí. It's not. Es una palabra añadida. Es palabra añadida. It's added. Fue añadida. 
As a matter of fact, in my Bible, I have a New King James Bible. Oh, pues en mi Biblia es el, um, the King James. Mm -hmm. yeah, King James. The son of Alphaeus is, uh, is italicized. Eh, que dice, está italicado. Mm -hmm. La palabra hijo de Alfeo. And in the beginning uh, of my Bible, in the, the preface, in the principio de mi Biblia, it tells me that when the words are italicized, cuando dice que una palabra está italizada, the <laughs> words are added for understanding. Fue agregado para entendimiento. Mm. But you will be surprised. Pero se sorprenderán. How do you plug up the, uh, the computer? Give her the um. The bag. You will be surprised to find out. Se de descubrir that even in the Catholic tradition, they say that James, the son of Alpheus, dice que Jaime, el hijo de Alfeo, is James. Um, digo, Jacobo, hijo de Alfeo, es, they call him James the Less. Lo llaman, uh, lo llaman Jacobo el menos. Uh -huh. James the Less. Jacobo el menos. Now, I gave you guys a, a paper, right? Es de un papel, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> And you see it says um, Jacobo del menos es Uh -huh. Go down to the, to the bottom of the first page. Vayan al último de la primera página. It says, it should say number four. Se ve ese número cuatro. It says, but the same writer. En el libro. Oh, yeah, okay, the same right. yeah. In the seventh book of the same work. Séptimo de la misma obra. Relates also the following things concerning him. El autor añade lo siguiente acerca de Santiago. The Lord after his resurrection. El Señor después de su ascensión. Uh, imparted knowledge to James the just. Entregó el conocimiento a Santiago el justo. Now remember James the son of Alphaeus. Um, Jacob y Santiago son las mismas palabras. Mm -hmm. so, so, so James the son of Alphaeus. So Santiago el hijo de Alfeo. Is the same as James the Just. Es lo mismo que Santiago el Justo. So the Lord after his resurrection. El Señor después su, de su ascensión. Imparted knowledge to James the Just and to John and Peter. Entregó el conocimiento a Santiago el Justo, a Juan y a Pedro. And they imparted it to the rest of the apostles. Estos a su vez lo entregaron a los otros apóstoles. That's not the part that I was looking for. Esa no es la parte que estaba buscando. I left out a, a, a part. In the fifth line, I was reading Eusebius. Estaba leyendo en la quinta parte, pero no la tengo aquí, de Eusebio. Um, from Church History. De libro de la historia de la iglesia. Book two. Libro dos. Chapter, uh, chapter one. Capítulo uno. And in line five. Y en la línea cinco. Which I forgot to write there. Se olvidó escribirlo. It says that there were two James. Decía que habían dos Jacobos. One Santiago. was called James. Uno se llamaba Jacobo Santiago. James the Greater. Santiago el Grande. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who was beheaded. Que le cortaron la cabeza. And the other was James the Less. Y el otro, Santiago el Menos. Who was also called James the Just. Que también fue um, conocido como Santiago el Justo. This James the Just. Este Santiago el Justo. Was one of the most important people in the faith. Era una de las personas más importantes en la fe. Do you know who he was? ¿Sabías quién él era? He was the leader. Él era líder. The first bishop. El primer obispo. obispo. 
Before there was the Bishop of Rome. Antes de que sea el obispo de Roma. And before the Bishop of Alexandria. Y antes del obispo de Alexandria. You had the Bishop of Jerusalem. Tenías el obispo de Jerusalén. The Bishop of Jerusalem. El obispo de Jerusalén. Was also called the Bishop of Bishops. También era conocido como el obispo de obispos. James. Santiago. This James. Santiago. Who they like to say is the son of Alpheus. Que lo conocen como Jacobo, el hijo de Alfeo. Is the brother of Jesus. Es el hermano de Jesús. The most influential, influential person of the faith. La persona que tenía mucha influencia en la fe. How do we know this? ¿Cómo sabemos esto? Remember, I, I talked about, my introduction was about what is the truth. Recuérdense que mi introducción era que es verdad. Well, in the Torah, en la ley, la Torah, you can know what the truth is. Sabes lo que es la verdad. Because the Torah tells us porque la Torah nos dice, that you are to establish a case es de establecer un caso, with the witness of two or three. Con el testimonio de dos o tres. So how do I know that this James was the first bishop of the faith? So ¿cómo sé que este Santiago Jacobo era el primer obispo, obispo de la fe? All of the historians of the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth centuries. Todos los históricos de la primera de del primer siglo, siglo, del segundo, del tercero, del cuarto y del quinto siglo. Okay. Testify Testifican. that James de que Santiago was the leader. Conocido como Jacobo era el líder. Everybody knew it. Todos sabían. There are multiple books where he's mentioned. Hay múltiples libros que él está mencionado en. And my favorite is Eusebius. Y mi favorito es Eusebio. It's right there in the text that I wrote on you. Está ahí en el texto que les puse en el papel. Okay. It says, uh, then James, who the ancient surnamed the just. Which um, is it? It says two. The no, first page. No. First page. Okay. Luego estaba también Santiago Jacobo. Uh, which they called the just. Al que llamaban hermano del Señor. Is recorded to have been the first to be made bishop of the Church of Jerusalem. Porque fue llamado hijo de José, así pues, este Santiago al que los antiguos pusieron el sobrenombre de Justo por la excelencia de su virtud, se da cuenta que fue el primer en recibir el tono episcopal de la iglesia de Jerusalén. This James was the brother of the Lord because he was, he was known as a son of Joseph. Porque era conocido como hijo de José. This James was the brother of Jesus. Este Santiago o Jacobo era hermano de Jesús. The son of James, uh, Joseph. El hijo de José. Okay. So that's the first one, okay? Es la primera. We're going back to Acts, okay? Ahora vamos a regresar a Hechos. Espero que no, 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 están dando ataques aquí ahorita. I hope you're not having an attack. I hope this is not difficult for you. All right? Everybody understand that part? ¿Todos entienden esa parte? Okay. So, <clears throat> after James, the son of Alphaeus, después de Jacobo, hijo de Alfeo, is Simon the zealot. Es Simón el celote. Remember, Jesus also has a brother named Simon. Recuérdense, Jesús también tiene un hermano que se llama Simón. Simon and Simon. Simón y Simón. They're the same. Son lo mismo. This Simon the Zealot este Simón, el celote, is also the brother of Jesus. También es hermano de Jesús. Otra That's two apostles. Ahora son dos apostles. But you notice that he's called Simon the Zealot. Pero te notas que está llamando Simón el celote. Does everybody know what a zealot is? ¿Saben lo que es un celote? They were a group of radical Jews. Era un grupo de judíos radicales. That were anti-establishment. Anti Meaning, they were against Judaism. Contra el Judaísmo. They were against the Romans. Eran contra los Romanos. Against the, the Pharisees. Contra los Pharisees. Against the Sadducees. Contra los Saduc against Saduc the temple. Contra el templo. They believed that this is Judea. 
Ellos crean que es la Judea. Judea belongs to the Jews. Y Judea le pertenece a los judíos. The zealots los celotes were also Eusenes. Eran también Eusenios. That's a shocker. Esa es una sorpresa. Yeah, that was a shock to me right now. So wait a minute. Entonces. So there's one Eusene, right? So había entonces un Eusenio. There were more than one. No había más que uno. How about Judas Iscariot? Como Judas Iscariot. His, his surname is Iscariot. Su nombre. Iscariot. 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 No, his middle name. Su, su nombre es Judas. Judas Iscariot. No, mm -hmm. that word. His last name. Oh, apellido. su apellido mm -hmm. era Iscariot. Uh-huh. Escar e Iscariot. Iscariot. Comes from Secri. Tiene de Secri. Which is the name for the party of the circumcision. Que es el nombre por la, el grupo de la, de la circuncisión. Because they would, they would carry knives, knives called Sacri knives. Porque ellos cargaban cuchillos que se llamaban um, Sacris. Mm -hmm. And if they saw a Gentile that was not circumcised and speaking of the Torah, y si veían un gentil que no estaba circuncisado y hablando de la ley. They were forced him to be circumcised. Lo forzaban a ser circuncisado. And if he wouldn't be circumcised. Y si no era circuncisado. They would find a way to kill him. Encontraron una manera de matarlo. Judas Is Iscariot. Judas Iscariot. Was also a zealot. Era también un celote. It kind of sounds like they don't want Christians to want to know us. <laughs> Lo que no le va a gustar there, are radical, things, there are things radicales. hidden in the text. Yeah. Hay cosas que están en el texto que nosotros no sabemos porque tenemos dos mil años removido de entendimiento. Mm -hmm. We have 2,000 years mm -hmm. removed mm -hmm. from, this under, from this understanding. Yeah, no, oh, nobody cares about this thing. Who cares what, what, what the traitor's name no was. Importa. A nadie le importa cares. y no quieren saber el nombre de, oh, ¿quién fue este quien lo traicionó? Mm -hmm. So, Simon, the Simón, zealot. Simón, el celote. And then you have Judas, the, the, in my Bible it says the son of James. But it actually says the Hermano brother Jacob. of James. Yeah. Yeah. It must be a typo. Yeah, that's that translation. But anyway, pero, Think about this. Piensen en esto. If Judas, si Judas was the brother of James, era hermano de Jacobo, and James was the brother of Jesus, y Jacobo era hermano de Jesús, then Judas was the brother of Jesus. Entonces, Judas era hermano de Jesús. Such a revelation. Era una revelación grande. So, you have three of Jesus' brothers there. But he has four brothers. By the way, oh, pero, this last Judas este último Judas, is the same Jude es el mismo, mm -hmm, Judas, that wrote the book of Jude. Que escribió el libro de, de Judas? De Judas? Judas? Okay. <clears throat> and this James y este es Santiago, Jacobo, who's called the just, que se llama el justo, is the same James es el mismo Santiago, that wrote the book of James. Que escribió el libro de Santiago. Have you ever thought no, han, nunca has pensado, who are these people? ¿quiénes son estas personas? Why do they have books in the Bible? ¿Por qué tienen libros mm -hmm. en la Biblia? I don't know a James. Yo no conozco ningún Santiago. I don't know who Jude is. Yo no sé quién es Judas. Why do they have books in the Bible? ¿Por qué tienen libros en la Biblia? We were taught in theology school. Fuimos enseñados en la escuela de teología. That uh, it was only apostles who wrote the New Testament. Y solo eran los apóstoles que escribían el Nuevo Testamento. But I've never heard of an apostle named James. Pero yo nunca he escuchado un apóstol que se llama Santiago. There are actually two apostles. Pues habían dos apóstoles que se llaman Santiago. I've never heard of an apostle named Jude. Nunca uh, escuché de un apóstol que se llama Judas. So who are these people? So quiénes son estas personas? Imagine my shock when I found out that these are the very brothers of Jesus. Imagínense cuánto yo me sorprendí de descubrir que son los hermanos de Jesús. I have to make this real. It's like... They lived with Jesus. 
tengo que ser, uh, decir esto de verdad de que era, ellos vivían con Jesús. They had interaction with Jesus all the time. Interactuaban con Jesús todo el tiempo. You can imagine that they would have heard him and his ideas. Pueden, uh, imagínense que ellos escuchaban las ideas de Jesús. But we don't know anything about these people. Pero no sabemos nada de estas personas. Okay. Let's move on. Vamos a seguir. So there are three of Jesus' brothers here in verse 13. Se trata de los hermanos de Jesús en verso 13. But one of them is missing. Pero uno falta. There's one brother missing. Hay uno que falta. Let's continue in Acts chapter 1. Vamos a seguir en... Hechos capítulo 1. And I'm going to introduce the situation here. Y voy a introducir la situación aquí. It says that while the 120 people. Que aunque dice que los 120 personas. There were 120 of them there. Hay 120 personas ahí. Peter stands up. Pedro se levanta. And he says there is a spot open. Y dice hay un puesto abierto. Among the 12 apostles that we need to fill. Sobre los 12 apóstoles que tenemos que llenar. Okay. So, in verse 23, in verso 23, it says that when Peter uh, made this announcement, it says, cuando Pedro hizo este anuncio, let's go back, 21. Vamos a regresar mejor a 21. Peter says, therefore, Chapter 1? Uh -huh, chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 1, verse 21. Therefore, of these men who have accompanied us, all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John that day, Comenzando desde el bautismo de Juan hasta el día. Until that day he, when he was taken up from us. En que de entre nosotros fue recibido arriba. One of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. Uno se ha hecho testigo con nosotros de su resurrección. Verse 23. Verso 23. And they proposed two. Y señalaron a dos. Question. Why did they propose to? When there was only need for one position. Why two? Oh, well, they just wanted to see who was going to get the position. No. There's something that's not there. Remember we said that James was one of the twelve. But all of the histories Pero toda la historia tell us that James dice que Santiago, Jacobo, was promoted. Fue promovido. Promovido. So in the place where Jesus was, Jesus was the leader. So en el lugar que Jesús estaba, Jesús era líder. Jesus was not there anymore. Jesús no estaba ahí. James took that place. Santiago tomó esa posición. So now there are two positions. Ahora hay dos posiciones. Among the 12 that are open. Sobre, uh, sobre los 12 que está abierta. So who are the two candidates for this position? So ¿Quiénes son los dos candidatos por esta posición? Verse 23. Verse 23. And they proposed two. Y señalaron a dos. Joseph. A José. Who? Quien? Joseph. Jose. Hmm, that name sounds familiar to me. El nombre soy familiar para mí. James, James, James. If we go back to Matthew chapter 13 si, in verse 55. Si regresamos a Mateo capítulo 13, verso 55. There is a, another brother named Joseph. Hay otro hermano que se llama José. Joseph is the same as Joseph. José, José es del mismo que José. In in Spanish is the same. En español lo mismo. 
And in English, it's it's spelled two different ways. En inglés está escrito en dos diferentes maneras. But Joseph, Pero José, called Barsabas, conocido como Barsabas, who was surnamed Justice, que tenía por sobrenombre Justo, and Matthias. Y Matías. So, Entonces, now the last brother that was missing Ahora el último hermano que faltaba becomes an apostle also in the twelve. Es un apóstol del también con los doce. Where did Matthias and Joseph come from? De dónde vino Matías y José? Well, pues the histories also tell us. Las historias también nos dice. And if you know your Bible really good, y sabes tu Biblia muy bien, then not only were there twelve. Apostles, but there were also 70. In Luke chapter 10, you see that Yeshua also commissioned 70. The, the histories on this matter, historians say that Matthias and Joseph were a part of that 70. Mm -hmm. Dicen que Matías y José eran parte de esos 70. So you have one of Jesus' brothers who is at the very top of the whole faith. Uno de los hermanos de Jesús que está encima de toda la fe. In charge of all of the believers. Encargado de todos los creyentes. And you have the other three. Y tiene los otros tres that are also in high positions. Que están en posiciones altas también. What we see here Lo que vemos aquí is what a lot of people do not want us to see. Lo que muchas personas no quiere que veamos. There is an apostolic organization here. Hay una organización apostólica. This is not a disorganized group. Este no es un grupo que no está um, this is not a group that everybody is doing whatever they think is okay. This is a group este es un grupo with arch apostles con arch apostles is like an archbishop. Oh, con los bispos apostles? Yeah. Like <laughs> arch apostles. Arch apostles are the highest of apostles. Son los más altos de los apostoles. And then you have apostles. Y luego tienes apostoles. And then you have the seven. Y luego tienes los siete. But I want to redirect us back to James. Pero quiero que nos poquemos otra vez en Santiago. James Santiago. is the leader of the faith. Es el líder de la fe. He is the author of the book of James. Es el autor del libro de Santiago. This man had the authority to establish doctrines. Este hombre tenía la autoridad de establecer doctrinas. And he also approved practices. También aprobaba uh, prácticas. Let's go to Acts chapter 15. Vamos a ir a Hechos capítulo 15. Acts chapter 15, verse 13. Hechos capítulo 15, verso 13. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yeah. It says, and after they had become silent, y cuando ellos callaron, James answered and said, Jacobo respondió diciendo, Have you ever asked yourself, who is this James? Nunca están preguntando quién es Jacobo. He stands up out of nowhere and starts to speak. Se levanta de ningún, sale de ningún lado y empieza a hablar. Who is he? ¿Quién es? When the time, when the, when this act, when this book of the Acts of the Apostles was written. Cuando este libro de Hechos fue escrito. Everybody knew who James was. Todos sabían quién era Jacobo. But we're two thousand years removed. So for those of us who didn't know, James was the leader. Not only that, but the histories also tell us that there were 15 
las historias también nos dicen que habían 15 Jewish bishops in Jerusalem. Obispos judíos en Jerusalén. Okay. That's also in your paper. Eso también está en tu papel. You guys know how I am. Ya saben cómo soy. I don't like to just, you know, give my notes. No solo me gusta dar mis notas. I like to read to you guys. Me gusta leerles. And the reading may bore you. Y a lo mejor le, uh, las, lo que te estoy leyendo te va a aburrir. But I, I want to prove to you. Pero yo quiero darle las pruebas. I want to give you evidence. La evidencia. That what I'm talking to you. De lo que te estoy hablando. Is the truth. Es la verdad. So for you guys, uh, my assembly here. So para mi asamblea aquí. You guys have uh, in your paper there. Ustedes tienen ahí su papel. For those of you who are listening on the internet, you can look at Eusebius's church history. In book four, Libro cuatro, chapter five, capítulo cinco, and it will name for you all 15 of those bishops. Y te todos los 15 nombres de los obispos. And this is what you will notice. Y esto es lo que te vas a dar cuenta. The first one is James. El primero es Santiago. The so-called brother of the Lord. Llamado como el hermano de Jesús. The second is who? El segundo es quién? Simeón. Simeón. Now, if you guys haven't figured this out yet. Si usted ha pensado en qué es, quién es este nombre de They él? have a variation of, na of, of ways to spell the same name. Tienen var diferentes maneras de escribir el nombre, el mismo nombre. And when you go into the tradition, y cuando vas a la tradición, it's going to tell you that this was Jesus' uh, cousin. Te va a decir que fue el primo de Jesús. It wasn't Jesus' cousin, it was Jesus' brother. No era el primo de Jesús, era el hermano de Jesús. So Simon, the zealot, so Simon, el celote, was the second bishop of Jerusalem after James died. Era el segundo obispo de Jerusalén después de que Santiago murió. And guess who's the third? ¿Y quién es el tercero, adivina? In the list it says justice. En la lista dice uh, justus. Mm -hmm. And we just read who justice is. Y ya leímos de quién es um, José. It's James. It's Joseph. Yeah, it's José. It's Joseph. His name, his last name is justice. Su apellido es... Um, Justice. 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 Mm -hmm. Justice. Oh, yeah, justice. Justice. Uh -huh. Justice. It's the brother of Jesus. Mm -hmm. The first three bishops are Jesus' brothers. This same book, uh, the Church Histories by Eusebius. Este mismo libro de la historia de la iglesia por Eusebios. Tell us, tells us that Jesus' family had a large influence over the believers. Nos dice que la familia de Jesús tenía una influencia grande sobre los creyentes. His uncle was, was among um, the elders. Su, tía, su tío era uno de los His ancianos, sus primos. His sisters, sus hermanas, and his brothers, y sus hermanos. I'm just gonna give it time to breathe. So uh, let's go ahead. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Entonces, por eso, cuando supuestamente, bueno, Jesús está en la cruz y le dice mm -hmm. a Juan, he aquí tu madre, madre, he aquí tu hijo, porque mm -hmm. eres realmente su hijo, Juan. ¿O no? John, John, uh, the question is when Jesus is on the cross and he tells John, um, mother, behold your son and son, behold your mother. Was it because that was really um, his, his uh, relative? I don't know if they were related. No sé si eran, um, familiares. But that John was the youngest of the apostles. He was He was about 12 or 13. And Peter was older. Y Pedro era más grande. So John was also called the beloved. Juan también fue llamado el 
Why el, el, el amado. El amado. El amado. Mm -hmm. Why was John called the beloved? Because he would lay on, on Jesus' breast. Yeah, he was, he was still like a child. And that's why it was necessary for Jesus to say, son, here's your mother. Mother, here's your son. Por eso era necesario que Jesús diga, hijo, aquí está tu madre y madre, aquí está tu hijo. John was still young. Juan está todavía uh, pequeño, pues joven. He was still a little bit immature. Todavía estaba inmaduro. He may be, he may have been a bit spoiled. A lo mejor estaba chiflado. <laughs> <laughs> Un poco chiflado. Maybe a little bit, just Un a little. Un poco. <laughs> con sentido. <laughs> sí, con sentido. Because a lot of people think that this is a spiritual thing. Mucha gente piensa que esta, esto es algo espiritual. But it was a it was it had to do with his maturing. Pero tenía que ver de, con su madurez. Okay. And again, we have to remember that these apostles were not old people. También tenemos que recordar que esos apóstoles no son gente vieja. The oldest person there was probably Jesus, and he was about 30 to 33 years old. La persona más grande era Jesús, y era, tenía como 30 a 33 años. The apostles, Los apostoles. Well, we, well uh, this is another co uh, cultural thing that we don't know. Esa es otra cosa cultural que no, uh, no sabemos. That uh, there was a custom among Jews. That the rabbis would choose the disciples when they were very young. Que los rabinos escogían discípulos cuando eran bien joven. 12 or 13 or 14 years old. De 12 o 13 hasta 14 años. Why? Because it was easier for them to learn. ¿Por qué? Porque era más fácil para que ellos aprendieran. At that age, the children, the, the young men were also looking uh, to become apprentices. Y a esa edad también los jóvenes estaban buscando para hacer. Aprendizaje. Okay. Hacer aprendizajes. So that they can do trades. Para que hagan intercambios. Comerciales. Comerciales. Okay. So they had to be trained. Tienen que ser entrenados. They became apprentices. So se convirtieron en. Hicieron aprendizaje. That's the only way I know how to say it. Okay. So. We got all that out of the way. Ya sacamos todo. There's only a little bit left. So, so falta poco. Okay. So. Entonces, this is what is the most important. Eso es lo que es más importante. James, the brother of Jesus, Santiago, Jacobo, el hermano de Jesús, was leader of the church for a good 30 years. Era líder por, de la iglesia por unos buenos 30 años. By James, the organization of the faith was set. Por Santiago, la organización de la fe fue hecha. And all of the leaders that came after James y todos los líderes que vinieron después de Santiago followed James' direction. Seguían las instrucciones de Santiago. Okay. They didn't change anything. No cambiaron nada. None of the leaders. Ninguno de los líderes. None of the apostles. Ninguno de los apóstoles. Changed anything. Cambiaron nada. So, Entonces, if James is the leader, si Santiago era líder, then whatever James says, lo que decía Santiago is right. Es correcto. Whatever anybody else says Lo que dice otra persona is wrong. Es incorrecto. This is going to be important. Esto es importante. Okay? Muy importante. This is going to be very important. Muy importante. Next week. Para la otra semana. Let's go to Acts chapter 2. Vamos a Hechos capítulo 2. Acts chapter 2. And to our disappointment, we're not going to be talking about the day of Pentecost. We're all from the Pentecostal church. That's the part we like. The fire. El fuego. J, I mean, Acts chapter 2. Hechos capítulo 2. And verse 40. Verso 40.
It says, and with many other words, he testified and exhorted them, saying, y con otras muchas palabras testificaba y les exhortaba diciendo, Be saved from this perverse generation. Ser salvos de esta perversa generación. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. Así que los que recibieron su palabra fueron bautizados. And that day about 3,000 souls were added to them. Y se añadieron aquel día como 3,000 personas. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles. Y perseveraban, in the apostles doctrine, sorry. perseveraban en la doctrina de los apóstoles and fellowship en la comunión and the breaking of bread unos con otros en el apartamento del pan and in prayers y en las oraciones then fear came upon every soul y sobrevino temor a toda persona and many wonders and signs were done through the apostles y muchas maravillas y señales eran hechas por los apóstoles now all who believed were together todos los que habían creído estaban juntos. And had all things in common. Y tenían en común todas las cosas. And sold their possessions. Y vendían sus propiedades. And goods. Y sus bienes. And divided them among all. Y lo repartirían a todos. Según, as anyone had need. Según la necesidad de cada uno. It's the last part that I want to stress. Esa es la última parte que quiero. That they were all together. Todos estaban juntos. They had all things in common. Todo en común. They sold all of their possessions. Todas sus possessions. It doesn't say that they sold some of their possessions. No dice que solo parte de su it says they sold all of their dice possessions. Que todo lo que House, car. Su casa, su carro. Everything they had. Todo lo que so if that's the case. Si este es el caso, if they sold everything that they had. Si todo lo que tenían, then, the, then what were they? We call that a person who doesn't have anything poor. We call them poor. We call them poor. In Hebrew, the word is ebunites. Okay? The word is ebunites. Okay? So, They became Ebionites. Se convirtieron a Ebionitas. Everybody understand that? Todos se entienden. So they were called poor. Fueron llamados los pobres. Because they gave up all of their possessions. Porque dieron todas sus posesiones. And gave them all to the apostles. Y se los dieron a los apóstoles. What do you think? It says that 3,000 people came to um, believe in Messiah that day. Dice que 3,000 personas que creyeron en el Mesías en ese día. What did you think that they did with that money? ¿Qué crees que hicieron con ese dinero? Did they make themselves rich? ¿Se hicieron ricos? No. No. You know what they did? ¿Saben lo que hacían con ese dinero? They took that money tomaban ese dinero and used it to send missionaries. Y lo usaban para mandar misioneros. So that means that every person that preached eso significa que Significaba que cada persona que predicaba Not only were they under the authority of James No solo estaban debajo de la autoridad de Santiago They were also sponsored by James También fueron um, Patronados Patrocinados mm -hmm. por Santiago James gave them the money to go out to preach Santiago les daba dinero para salir a predicar James es el hijo no, James is the brother of Jesus. Okay? So James gave them the money to go and preach. Santiago les daba el dinero para ir a predicar. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? You see in the Clementine in the Clementine homilies. Verán en el, en el libro de los Clementines. Uh -huh. Clementines. Or they call it Clementia. Uh, Clementia. La Clementia. Okay, the writings of Clementine. Las de la Clementia. That everybody who went out to preach had to give a report to James of everything that they did. Why did he do that? ¿Por qué hizo eso? He wanted to make sure that they were being effective. Él quería ver de que ellos estaban haciendo 
Efectuosos. Brother, if 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 I'm giving you a job, si yo te estoy dando un trabajo, you're not going to pay me to do nothing. No te voy a pagar para que no hagas nada. If you're sending me on a mission, si me estás mandando a una misión, and you say, brother, I'm going to give you a hundred dollars. Y me dices, hermano, te voy a dar cien dólares. To send a message for me. Para mandar un mensaje para mí. If I decide, oh, I'm not going to give him the message. Y decido, oh, no, no les voy, no les voy a dar mensaje. Are you going to pay me? Te vas a pagar. You want to give me free money? Si quieres darme dinero gratis. I, I'll take it. Lo tomo. I, I, hey. No, nobody's going to give free money. Nadie va a ganar dinero gratis. So everybody that went out to preach. So cada persona que iba fuera a predicar had to give an account to James. Tenía que dar una cuenta a Santiago. Not only did they have to give an account to James, no solo tenían que darle una cuenta a Santiago, un but reporte. James also gave them a commission. Pero también Santiago le da una comisión. What is a commission? ¿Qué es una comisión? A commission is a written paper una comisión era un papel escrito that states the details of their mission. Que dice los detalles de su misión. It's written confirmation that they come from James. Es confirmación escrita que vienen de Santiago. This is going to be important also. Esto también va a ser muy importante. Next week. La semana que viene. Okay. So. Entonces. James is the leader of the faith. Santiago es el, hermano, el líder de la fe. He's the one that sponsors. Él es el que Patrocina. He's the one that uh, that they report to. Al quien le reportan, al quien se reportan a. The Ebionites. Los Ebionitas. Now, when you see the phrase "the poor," cuando tú ves las frases "los pobres," in the Bible, en la Biblia, especially in the New Testament, especialmente en el Nuevo Testamento, usually we think of Usualmente nosotros pensamos. Oh, it's the people that don't have anything. Ah, es la gente que no tiene nada. It's not that. No es eso. It's actually talking about. Es actualmente hablando de. The, the Ebionites. Los Ebionitas. Matthew 5 and 3. Mateo 5, verso 3. Mm-hmm. Matthew 5 and 3. Mateo 5, verso 3. Okay. It says. You got it? Yes. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Los pobres en espíritu. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Porque de ellos es el reino de los cielos. Mm. Mm. So he's saying, blessed are the Ebionites. Está diciendo, entonces, bendecidos son los Ebionitas. Mm. Very interesting. Muy interesante. Matthew chapter 19. Mateo capítulo 19. All of these texts are in your notes. Todos estos textos están en tus uh, papeles de notas que le di. The story of the rich ruler. La historia del, del rey que era, del, sí, del rey que del era joven rico. rico. Del joven rico. Mm-hmm. Mateo 19. Matthew 19, we'll start at verse 17. Vamos a empezar a verso 17. Verse 16. Now behold, Entonces, one came and said to him, vino uno y le dijo, Good teacher, Maestro, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Bueno, ¿qué bien haré para tener la vida eterna? What did Jesus tell him? ¿Qué le dijo Jesús? Have faith in me. Oh, ten fe en mí. What did Jesus say? ¿Qué dijo Jesús? Is that what he said? Es lo que dijo. Have faith in me. Ten, ten me. Have faith in me, you'll have eternal life. Ten fe en mí, tendrás vida eterna. That's not what Jesus said. Es no lo que dijo Jesús. What did Jesus say? ¿Qué dijo Jesús? So he said to him, Le dijo, Why do you call me good? ¿Por qué me llamas bueno? No one is good but one. Ninguno es bueno sino uno. That is God. Dios. Wait a minute. Wait, espera. Back up. Espérate, regresa. He said, why do you call me good? Me bueno. No one is good. Nadie es bueno. But one. Solo uno. So he didn't consider himself good. No se consideraba él bueno. But he said, God is good. Dijo que Dios es bueno. 
But isn't he God? Oh, pero yo pensé que él es Dios. But he said no one is good but God. Pero dijo que nadie es bueno, solo Dios. I'll let that pass over. Voy a dejar que eso les pase. <laughs> but he Entonces, says, pero dice, but if you want to enter into life, mas si quieres entrar en la vida, have faith in me. Ten fe en mí. Confess me as your Lord and Savior. Confésame como tu uh, Salvador. Oh, that's not what it says. No, no es lo que dijo. He says, keep the commandments. Guarda los mandamientos. What? We're just going to let that go. Vamos okay. a eso también pasar. We'll talk about that next Vamos week. Eso la otra semana. He said to him, Les dijo, which ones? ¿Cuáles? Jesus said, y Jesús dijo, you shall not murder. No matarás. You shall not commit adultery. No adulterarás. You should not steal. No hurtarás. You should not bear false witness. No dirás falso testimonio. Honor your father and your mother. Honor a tu padre y a tu madre. You should love your neighbor as yourself. Y amarás a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. The young man said to him, All these things I have done from my youth, what do I lack? El joven le dijo, Todo eso lo he guardado desde mi juventud. ¿Qué más me falta? Jesus said to him, verse 21. 21, Jesús le dijo, If you want to be perfect, Si quieres ser perfecto, Go. Anda. Sell what you have Vende lo que tienes. and give to the poor. Y a los Is he telling him to sell his possessions and give it to those who don't have anything? No. No. That's not what he's saying. Eso es lo que no está diciendo. He's saying, Él está diciendo, sell what you have and give it to the Ebionites. Vende lo que tienes y dáselos a los Ebionites. A lot of people are not going to like that, though. Mucha gente no le va a gustar eso porque va a arruinar su ministerio. Uh -huh. Está dándole Ooh. a los pobres. Mm -hmm. Ooh. It's going to ruin a lot of ministries there. <laughs> va a arruinar muchos ministerios ahí. Uh -huh. Why does he tell him to give what he has to the Ebionites? ¿Por qué le dice que le dé lo que tiene a los Ebionitas? Because the Ebionites were already in his days preaching the gospel. Porque los Ebionitas ya estaban en sus tiempos predicando el evangelio. They were doing the work of the kingdom. Estaban haciendo la obra del reino. They were already working. Ya estaban trabajando. A lot of people think, oh, they waited until uh, they waited until Jesus died, resurrected, and ascended to heaven to start working. Mucha gente piensa, oh, esperaron hasta que Jesús se muriera y resurrección. But no, in the book of Mark, Pero en el libro de Marcos, John says, I saw somebody preaching in your name. How can that be? ¿Cómo puede ser eso? He had already sent people out. Ya había mandado a gente. They were already preaching in his days. En sus días, en su tiempo. Okay. So they they still had work to do. He tells the rich ruler, y le dice al joven rico, give what you have to the, the Ebionites. Da lo que tienes a los Ebionites. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Let's go to. ¿Cómo está? How do we how do we know that Jesus is talking about the poor? ¿Cómo sabemos que Jesús está hablando de los pobres? How do we know that Jesus is talking about the Ebionites? ¿Cómo sabemos que Jesús está hablando de los Ebionites? I'll give you proof. Te voy a dar pruebas. Let's go to Gal uh, Galatians. Vamos a ir a Gal uh, Galatas. Galatians. Galatians. Chapter 5. Capítulo 5. Verso 14. Bear with me because I always get confused with Galatians. Yeah, I'm, I'm Galatians. Galatians chapter 2. Capítulo 2. Se me dio este perdido. No, de Corintios, ¿verdad? No. Mm. Yeah, it's after 2 uh, Corinthians. Okay. Galatians capítulo 2. Después del segundo de Corintios. Mm -hmm. Galatians. Uh -huh. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 10. Capítulo 
sorry, go to Romans chapter 15. Perdón, era Romanos capítulo 15. Mm -hmm. And verse 26. Romans chapter 15, verse 23. For it pleased those from Macedonia and Achaia. Romans chapter 15, verse 26. Porque Macedonia y Achaia to make certain contribution tuvieron a bien, tuvieron a bien hacer una ofrenda for the poor para los pobres among the saints que entre los santos who are in Jerusalem. Que están en Jerusalem. Do you get it now? Pues, entre los santos. Mm -hmm. 22, 15, 22? 26. Oh, okay. Sí, yo también pensé 22. Romans chapter 15 verse 26. So Paul was taking a contribution Pablo está tomando una contribución for the poor in Jerusalem para los pobres en but not all the poor pero no todos los pobres. the poor saints. Los pobres santos. It's specifically talking about the people who gave up their possessions for the work of the gospel. Por el trabajo del evangelio. Okay. Those are the people that they felt were worthy to receive offerings. Esas son la gente que ellos vieron que merecían las ofrendas. Okay. So this is important. There are other places in the New Testament where it talks about the poor. Remember what in the New Testament where it talks about the poor it's usually referring to the Ebionites. Those people of the faith who gave up their possessions for the gospel. Okay? So in conclusion, in conclusion, we have learned today, hemos aprendido hoy, first, primero, that Jesus had brothers and sisters. Que Jesús tenía hermanos y hermanas. Second, Segundo, that all of Jesus' brothers and sisters que todos los hermanos de Jesús y were hermanos, apostles. Eran apóstoles. They're all mentioned in the scripture, todos están mencionados and, en and the gospels, en el Evangelio. Okay? Third, Tercero, that James, que Santiago, Jacob, who was Jesus' brother, que era el de Jesús, was the first leader of the faith. Era el líder de la fe. James organized the faith. Organizó la fe. And all the leaders that came after him followed his directions even after he died. Y todos los líderes después de él siguieron sus instrucciones después de que él murió. And lastly, we learned y la última es, that, J, that the people that follow James los seguidores de Santiago o Jacobo, were called se llama, Ebionites. Se llamaban los Ebionites. They weren't called Christians. No se llamaban cristianos. They weren't called Nazarenes. No se llamaban Nazarenos. They were called Ebionites. Se llamaban Ebionites. How do we know? ¿Cómo sabemos? Because Acts chapter 2 and Acts chapter 4 tell us specifically that they became poor. That all of the other communities outside of Jerusalem had to give, came and gave offerings to the poor. They were called Ebionites. Se llamaban los Ebionitas. Okay. Next week, la otra semana, we're going to go into the specifics of vamos a ir a lo específico de, what the historians tell us about the Ebionites. Lo que nos dicen los históricos de los Ebionitas. The Bible doesn't tell us much la no lo dice mucho about the Ebionites. De los Ebionitas. 
Why doesn't the Bible tell us much about the Ebionites? Well, the person that has the most books in the New Testament is Paul. We'll talk about him next week. So until then, Entonces, I pray that this study has blessed you. Oro de que este estudio los haya bendecido. Think about everything that's been written here. Piense de todo lo que ha estado escrito aquí. If you have any questions, feel free to write si me. Tienen preguntas, por favor, escríbeme. Or ask me. O preguntarme. Any questions? Preguntas. And we're going to end today's study. Nos vamos a terminar los estudios de hoy. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Yahweh bless you. Yahweh los bendiga. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't go up. Yeah, sometimes the uh, mouse gets stuck. Oof. It's sitting down. Are you in there, Mano? Oh, it's incredible, isn't it?